Yeah, that is a great oh, year for us. I'll do that. Hopefully then. Damp down the floor. Last week, Helen was horrendous. Yeah, that's better because it's just too bright. And it's not, I mean, yeah, you reflect so badly. It's just too bright. Right. Yeah, I might see my monitor. Okay. Yeah. Should I start? Yeah. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, so she. That's her car. Yeah, so she'll. Yeah, start. She would yeah. not want you not to. Okay. Now, on this one, as you can see, it is, as we said earlier, it's got a very elongated head. And you have the head up there. Huh? Now that's very solid here because ob obviously that's because of the um, printer. But I'm sure that in real life you will have some like that, some dark places and light light places, La light on the on the on that dense hair that he's got. And then obviously here, and more than anything, hair up here, here, and then this one. That's what you need to get to get going firstly, which is the side side of uh, side of his face that side both and then bring it down so so basically instead of looking at like a face one thing you can do to release you from that stress of, of lightness is to do it this way turn it upside down and look at it not like a head but like a, like a shape look. see it's very elongated you could see there's an ice cream if you <laughs> if it was solid <laughs> But what I'm saying is what I'm saying. So that's the cone. That's the cone. And then you have the ice cream at the top. It, you see what I'm actually, I'm, obviously I'm looking with, with the eyes of my mind. It's that if you make it solid without features, just look at the shape around it. It's very elongated. So there. Well, we've got that. And then head. Now he's got a very elongated forehead as well. That's another feature of his and eyebrow nose mouth and that middle tone here which is on the skin skin tone basically and i'll make it a little bit bigger make it a little bit bigger so we have it more of a now the thing is that the lightness will have to come here, but bigger in the sense that so you can see it from wherever you're sitting at the back. Okay, mouth, nose, eyebrow, and the eye would be again that's the most basic form of his. Uh, now, for well, that middle tone here, dark tone, then you have eyebrow nose the nose it's actually is an angle to the nose which is that way you have that angle and then you have end of the nose up up down here the mouth and the uh, the filter it's it's elongated it's longer than what i've done here and then middle of the mouth fleshy lips mm -hmm. and elongated for a uh, chin here yeah. and then here i don't see any shoulders at all well i don't see any end hello good morning any end of the jaw but the jaw is somewhere here and then you have the ear which just just there on this side it almost it just exceeds a little bit more and then again the shape of the head and i can come up here and do those Huh? the hair down here can you have a hairline hairline here um sideburn sideburn here and the eye now the eye will be i'll keep it very very dark on this side on the right hand side and to and to highlight the eye you Working is just the, that white here. That's the only thing. That's the only light that that, that defines the eye or the pupil. Uh, the iris, sorry, not the pupil. The iris. There. That, you see, that's enough. That defines the eye, and obviously you have a little bit of um, shine of the eye, 
but that would be later on in the drawing. But yeah, this one here, that white, that's the white of the eye. And then a little bit lighter on the eyelid. It's the same thing on this <coughs> side here, on this side here. Well, first of all, they are at the same eye level, uh, horizontal line. No, this eye stands slightly higher than this eye. So the eyelid of this eye, of his left eye, slighter, is, is slightly higher. So the eyelid is here, and this is slightly lower. There. And then you got the pupil here. No, uh, the other thing that I've done now without thinking is that I brought the eyes a bit too close. So, do you, do you remember we've said many, many times uh, the distance between two eyes is another eye. It's the length of the other eye. So that's the length. So that's there. So I should bring, so that's the end of the eye, the tear duct. Eyelid. And the pupil here. And then you have eyebrow there. And skin tone around here. And the ear. Ear is, now let me see this way. Okay, ear is on a horizontal line. You have it in between the nose and the mouth. But it's closer to the nose, so a horizontal line. There you have it. And hair, hair here. Line here. and forehead, forehead, the shadow of the forehead, and hairline here, further up, darker here, and then leave that area for the highlight here of, of the forehead, here. and maybe soften this one here. Leave that light for that. Light in here. Light in here. And then Anna, yes. Anna. From, uh, she was here Friday. She was here Friday. Yeah, she used to. Well, she does on, um, online now. But she was here this Friday. She's lovely. Mm -hmm. So there you are. Here. And then, and he's obviously smiling. And that end of the smile, or the end of the mouth, is a vertical line is right down from his eye. Look. There. So I can extend his mouth and make him a bit smilier. And upper lip is thicker. And you've got lower lip here. And the chin. Chin is lower. And let me see. Get him this way, get him on the way, just to see if the likeness is there. Well, it's not there at the moment, but we will get it. And then you have this. And then the jaw here. And down here, down here. And the jaw here. A bit wider on this side as well. And bring that. There's a it's very, very light. No, it's not a shadow, it's just a highlight here, which highlights the end of the lip on this side there and then you have the upper lip upper lip and lower lip darker darker and here as well yes yes now i think that might be a bit too thick just bring it back adjust it and then you have the the way he's standing, um, collar here, and dark on the, down on his neck, that shadow again of his uh, collar, and what I need to do to bring the lightness a little bit closer would be to brighten up the nose, this one top of the nose, nose reach, a bit lower, further wider here, and white of the eye, well, let's get that highlight, <coughs> one, two, and a little bit wider here, sorry, whiter, not wider, whiter. <coughs> and 
bring, bring back the nose. There's a distance between the two eyebrows because I brought them quite close together. So this one here, it's like that V shape here in between the two eyebrows. Okay. And this eyebrow, his right is almost at the same horizontal line. So I brought it down a little bit more. So bring it up, up, up. Shadow, 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 shadow. Okay, and then, and then this one as well, a bit darker than what it is there. Same, same eye, eye level or horizontal line, same horizontal line. Uh, a little bit further up the eyelid to make the likeness more. He's got a very, uh, you know, his, um, he, the eyes are open, are excited, so you need to bring the eyelid a little bit further, further up. Then you've got the eye back, the bag under the eye, which I'm not sh I'm sure it's not as big as that, but I'm just making it to make it look a little bit more like him. And then you have shadow, darker, darker here, and darker here on the cheek, this area. And also this, all these, softer. Hmm? Softer, there, and that little highlight. And now what I need to fix is the nose. Getting back and forth with the nose. The longer um, charcoal, grind it, make it a very, very sharp edge of the charcoal one, this one, and come back, darker, darker here, and possibly extend his nose a little bit further down. He's got a very, not a very long, but a longer nose elongated nose, which obviously <coughs> is part of his elongated face. And then you've got the nostril here, and a, a, a soft shadow on the upper lip, on the upper muscle of the lip, and the filter nose. See, that's why I prefer charcoal, because you can adjust it very, very quickly with your fingers. Mm. And with pencil, you cannot do that. And um, also, bring, now that I'm going up on the um, forehead, I think I need to bring it lower a little bit more. Okay. Side burn here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And make him a bit narrow here. here. Again, that was, that was a little bit of a stretch here in the sense that I just pushed it too much there. So a bit thinner here on, on that side. On the jaw. And all this area, all this area, is a tonal value there. Keep it a little bit darker because it creates that tonal value. And he's smiling here, so he drag this area to make him smile, drag that line and lose that line here. And also give it a darker tonal value, which is... Who is coming this time? <laughs> Straight. Also the Spanish students. Thank you, Nina. She just, hello, <laughs> like this, who opens the door? <laughs> like the beard from... <laughs> and then, and what he has, which I've noticed, some people have that shine on the upper lip. When the lips are ex um, moving, pushing forward, they have that line on the top of the upper lip. Now, these are, these are all to do with the likeness. So all these things that I'm adding now, because we have a face, but what we're working, what we're striving is to get the likeness. And the filter moves down a bit like this. Sharper on the lower side, like this, like that. See, that makes the upper lip, the pout that he's missing. Mm, well, he's not doing it on purpose, but... <laughs> <laughs> and then, I lie down here. Oh, another thing that I didn't notice, is that you see that he... The jaw comes round here, then it dips inwards, and then, so what the jaw does, does this one here. Look, the jaw comes right here. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm exaggerating, it's not doing that. Mm. 
but it's something yet like this. So you can practice here before you go there. Look, so you can do it here. And obviously, look, you don't have to keep that there. Oh, that could work like a like his uh, collar. Yes. Yeah. So that is so move down inwards and then outwards again. Yeah, that's more like him. And what I need to highlight as well is again that white of the eye, which is right on this side of the face, the pupil. I give him a little bit of a um, pupil, although on a very, very dark colored eye, sometimes the pupil is not visible. But I'm giving him a bit more of a pupil. And then, uh, and then the back under the eye, softly. And with the putty, get the highlights on the nose here. Make the nose look uh, with jumps towards us, basically. And nostril. Well, nostril is look because he's smiling. When people smile, the mm -hmm. nose also expands a little bit because it does. It, it follows the muscles. So the nostril is a little bit further wider here. And the no, nostril under here, yeah, nostril here. And this is where the smile. which gives him a happy look yeah. and that's on should be on that side as well and all that it's solid dark here but on the other hand I don't want to go too dark because it becomes yeah it becomes too too dense and soft softly 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 moving it. Well, I can always come back and do that dark again. Emphasize that. And there. And all that area could be, well, darken it first, give it a tonal value, and then you can always look, keep it here there and the lip as well and then I can come back now and highlight his smile one two three and highlight on the chin and that looks like he's actually crying so I <laughs> need to get that off and and a little bit of, well, do you remember that I said some some light on his dense hair? Because I, I wouldn't keep it as dense as that. Although, as I said, the printer just printed. But the printer is, will print like this anything, anything which is... Uh, and then obviously the hair, or forehead here. And give him a little bit more of a... Bring back the forehead. There. I and a softer, softer bone structure here, okay. and bring the ear a little bit further out there. Okay. Soften all that area, <coughs> uh, wider. Now that I'm checking it. Moving it on that side, I can see that he's slightly wider here. <coughs> there. there, but you can tell me. Don't be shy. You can tell me if he's wide or not. And wider here as well. Here, if I'm moving the ear, then obviously everything else follows. You can tell me if it's uh, if he's getting closer to his looks or not. <laughs> Is the nose a bit narrow? Should the nose be a bit wider? Oh, yes, yes. yes. Very good, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you let me check. Left. Yeah, left. This one to start with, that's a bit wider, yes. And this. Yes. yes. Definitely, yes. This is so there. He still looks very English, doesn't he, on yours? He looks a very good-looking good English man. Oh. Uh, a mixed, mixed race, huh? Yeah, mixed race, yeah. 
Okay, so you're just, I know, I know. So what, what, what I need to do is to, is to... Write down Portugal, Portuguese. Port yeah, Portuguese. Just say Portuguese man. So it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could say that, yeah. So yeah, basically, wider as, as Jane said, wider here, definitely wider here, one. And that will make him less less English, basically, what you say, Jane. And, and yeah, but one thing that he's got, his eyes, they, they, they look, although they, they're correct, because I can see that distance between the two tear ducts is another eye, but still they're a bit closer than most, not, than most people. So they're a bit closer. But what I will make him to look a little bit more like mixed race is give him a little bit f uh, wider eyebrows, look. Bushy, wider eyebrows, yes. And, um, emphasize the tear duct a bit more like he's got very and then uh, very basically highlighted where the eyebrow is finishing uh, highlight the eyebrow a bit more highlight that make the I mean the oh, sorry this side of the mouth a bit wider which I can just do this come here and do that dark shadow here yeah. hmm? Mm. And, and, and this is, well, move, as I said, move the, um, well, first of all, the end of the nose, which is down here, emphasize that a bit more, that part of the nose here, and the shadow, widen the shadow, widen it this way, yeah. okay, and straighten the bone structure. Straighten, but there's a there's a bump here on his nose, which is right here. Look, it's there. Is where his tear duct is. Is that bump, which I think, if we see in profile, he might have that the Roman nose. Hmm? But we don't see. Obviously, we're not seeing in profile, so we cannot see that. But that bump here, right here, suggests this basically. So that emphasize that like this. Bring it down make that a little bit wider the tip of the nose the roundness of the nose and this the nose where and the side of the nose side wall of the nose if i can call it that not wall i know it's not the wall but you know that side of the nose and then make that expression there and this one here a bit wider 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 wider, wider. Hmm? That's less of a less of a. See, it makes it more uh, uh, African expressions because the mouth is a bit bigger now. So more, it's a bit more exaggerated. Uh, this this one here, and possibly, <coughs> not possibly, definitely. See, I went wide at the beginning, but now that I move the mouth more to the left, that needs to be uh, followed by the jaw. And move the chin down and highlight that although it's a very very soft highlight but it is there and bring that shine which comes right down from this lower lip and connects with a sphere here it's like an apostrophe okay what do I see if you see it that way it's like an apostrophe, that rounded bit with a, the with a tail here. Huh? Do you remember when we were at school and you said, how is an apostrophe? And you exaggerate the apostrophe, it's like rounded and then with the tail. And so that's basically, that. <coughs> if you see it that way, you will see, you will identify little parts of that apostrophe. And then emphasize the apostrophe with the tail and that light bit there. <laughs> And possibly, not possibly, just definitely getting these highlights a little bit softer as they move towards the bone structure, forehead, here, and softer there. And softer here as well. But yeah, I'm running out of clean fingers now. So I should do. 
Okay, with that is softer edge of the hair where the hair meets the skin tone, and then move it softer like this. And all this, just a soft touch like that. And the ear, with lots of highlights. And this side, it's more of a like that, more of an angle like this. Uh, it's not exactly him, he's softer, and I've done him a little bit uh, sharper in the sense that he, he looks he looks a bit older on me, and it looks like he's, got, he's gaining weight on me. <laughs> it's all that sitting around. <laughs> and for a ballet dancer, that's, that's a very good very sensitive. Uh, ballet dancer. So a little bit thinner. Well, that's I think that's an easy fix because look, you can always trim it down, yes. huh? bring it like that, and here as well. Just I've just noticed that at that distance between the ear and the neck, longer heat distance here. So here, so I'll trim it this way, trim that way, trim the ear that way, make it thinner, mm. and then trim that, trim it here as well with it with his ear. See, it's, it's just moving that mm. way, that way, that way, until you, you find it where, where it actually looks more like him. And then the tip of the ear is right on the eyelid, so there. And maybe, oh, what I've done, I've just, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've just made his head too wide. too wide, yes. So I'll make it, bring it there. But that's, again, that's, not too difficult because you just trim here. Look, well, that's more trimmed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You that you see from far away because I'm too close. There. Yeah. Yeah. I think it can go up higher, is there on the left? Higher, higher here. Oh, yeah, this yeah. one, that yeah. chunk, yeah. yes. Yeah. Correct, very correct. High. And even here as well. Yeah. Yeah, that will make him even more elongated. Yes, I mean, uh, yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. You see, I was not sure. I could, I could feel there was something wrong. Well, the thing is that I'm done it too big and then too close. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, definitely, he needs to be the the ice cream top. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about ice cream. The top of the ice cream that needs to go a little bit further out there. There. It's very good in there. Oh, thank you. Thank it's you. Well, because you, you wanted that, you wanted that to be, huh? <laughs> and I was thinking, well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> cool. We'll not talk. We'll not say to. We'll not say that to. Bob. We're not saying. Bob is not saying. Oh, saying Bob is okay. He doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then. And then the eye, and then the pupil a bit closer. So it's looking towards us. Both pupils are concentrated. And then what I need to emphasize is that uh, here, uh, what's that called? Eyelid. There. Okay, I'll finish it later on. <laughs> I'll do another extended video, and you'll see to get closer. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. No, you, just you go. No, don't worry. You go. You can go there. They'll say, oh, people will say, oh, that's me now, that's me now. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, and that is. All right, so let's get back onto our portrait. Let's get back to work with the eyes, first of all. Make the eyes looking both at the same direction. Darker tonal value here. Lighter where the uh, white of the eye is. There. And you need light down here, uh, lighter, maybe a bit lighter here, maybe a bit lighter, 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 lighter. There. Um, that could go slightly lighter here. That's the plane. It's a plane, but still, it's not as dark as I've done it for at, at the moment here. And uh, I'm, I'm tempted to go with some more uh, charcoal dust here. Right? Charcoal dust, which was basically yellow charcoal, 
onto um, sandpaper. If I have a brush, how about I can create a little bit more of an expression in his face. Yeah, create that the face make the face move forward a little bit expression and also he's kind of a smiling me that cannot be done by the brush so I better use my wheel of charcoal here and give that impression or expression of, of smile up here And lower here, lower uh, the lower lip, a bit darker the lower lip. Darker tone of valley, darker tone of valley here. Darks here on this shirt. That line goes right there onto his mouth. So that line is horizontal. And a horizontal uh, line goes just right here, it's right there. Dark onto the shadow here. Darker on the plane, darker plane. Darker on the value here. Onto these forehead, then you have a darker tone of value here. There, and the nose, a bit darker. Darker here, and then you have. Nostril, move his upper lip a little bit further onto that, huh? or the edge here, just make him smile a little bit more, give him a pleasant smile, and you have the side plain here, darker, and here is a, on the horizontal line is right here, there, cartilage here, smile, And move that lip further up like this. Running out of clean fingers here. And a very soft touch here. Giving that stubble of the foil of the that man head. No? And you see a little bit of hair. But also the darker skin tone. So a darker tone of value all together here. And that dimple, which is beautiful here, just get it back onto that. And a little bit of shirt and t-shirt. The end of the earlobe is right here. I think I've got it a little bit too far down. His ear is a bit too long on the knee, so that is right under the nose. And these are the ways you can check it out. Doing, doing a horizontal line, a vertical line, these are the ways to get 
things right to get the features not things features right the lower eyelid pupil a little bit lighter uh, I think I need to do that upper eyelid a little bit uh, more intense here as in exaggerate that a little bit more make it a little bit uh, more of an arch eyebrow now I'm using by the way I'm using Conte Conte Paris 1710 um, you can combine these two materials Willow Charcoal and Conte Paris okay they're, they're compatible you cannot use pencil here but you can use these two at least these two as far as I know could be other brands of the compressed charcoal that you can use possibly the fusions the Rembrandts but I haven't tried those got the hair here see I'm giving I'm working it this way because I can see that the movement of the brush or I mean the pencil and what I see is it just seems to be downwards the movement. Soft here. Soft emerge. Emerge of um, the cheek. Merging with the flesh tone and uh, with the shadow area here. Emphasis on that dimple, that little dimple here. And uh, what I think I could do here now is to give a little spray not exactly now spray it and then work with different tonal values and add other dark tonal values and that bridge here which is the uh, the nose bridge which is that bone structure here there darker okay and uh, nostril a little bit smaller slightly smaller too bright keep it dark because it's in the shadow area shadow here that is right under the eye right under the eye that shadow here and there 
dark a tonal value to create the end of the lower lip here. Give him a smile, basically. And brighten up maybe a little bit more that area here, which I had a little bit darker before. Give it a little bit of a highlight here, or lighter tonal value. Not highlight, but a lighter tonal value. Now that is too bright here. Way too bright. So soften it, that's it. And darker here. I think I need a spray, quick spray, and then we can go back. And do some more highlights. Okay, after the spray, a little bit of highlights here. Although there's not much highlight going on there, it's, it's all dark. But knowing that that could be a reflected light coming through, um, shirt, you can break that darkness there by doing this. And a little bit of, that's after the spray. And highlight it on the chin. Also, a lighter tone of value here. And a darker, a middle tone, not very dark, a middle tone. And moving or integrating that line, incorporating that line with a darker shadow. There, maybe a bit further down. So larger chin, lower, larger chin. Bring the chin down here. It does seem to have a quite prominent chin. And slightly wider face. I'm not sure if I will go as wide as that, but uh, I leave it for the time being. It's not too bad. It's a bit wide, but I can trim it here as well. There. And possibly a little bit of highlight right under the or above the eyelid. And bring back with some Conte Paris, a pencil. Pupils. The eye. A 
middle, a uh, very light tonal value to bring about the end of the eye. Highlight on the upper eyelid. Upper eyelid. Go brighter the eye here, lower eyelid, bright to the lower eyelid, there, and also you have to make that come to a close, especially this edge here, there. although as I said the eye is very very hard to see what's going on here. But we know where the end should be. The upper eyelid. So brighter tone here for the um I'm, because I've sprayed it, it's impossible to do a bright tonal value there, so I'm using a bit of chalk, white chalk here. Right here. Clean that up. Remove that white with chalk. There. Another white with chalk here. Clear that up again. That's because of spraying it. See, it's impossible now to do those interventions here with light. With a container. Bringing back the pupil, we have the pupil here. There. There we are. And with a bit of a stump. Back a little bit of a darker tonal value here under the eye, soften it with my fingers, and then this is important a dark turn. There. Slightly lighter and lighter here. Bring back some light here with the putty. a little bit too bright here. Nevertheless, it's good. It's a bit brighter than I intended to, but...
highlight on the lips all right and then coming back with the contour pencil and stop softening those edges incorporating the content with the previous uh, with my previous charcoal Soften with my brush. Okay, folks, I think it's good. And uh, let's continue with the rest one, with the next one. Let's put the date. of the no is that okay let's see the dates today it's the family I'll stop it for a second check the date 